My name is Andrew, and my title here is General Fabricator. Um, so I do a little bit of everything. I do a lot of the machining, pretty much taking any piece of metal and turning it into a certain shape. I grew up, my dad used to just fix everything, and if, something, if my mom saw something she liked at the store, he'd make it. So that's what I grew up with. I worked as an IT consultant for a few years. Absolutely hated it. Didn't like the culture, didn't like the hours, didn't like anything about it. Oh, I've always wanted to learn how to use a mill and a lathe. I just never had the opportunity. At first they took me in like a stray dog. I just wouldn't leave after a while. And they figured they'd probably start paying me. So that's where I am now. Well, over the years of working on bikes, I've obviously I got a whole bunch of spare parts in my garage. There's some things I'll probably never use. So I kind of just put those aside, thought they looked pretty neat. Think I could make something out of them. The piston, it just looked like a good thing to put a lamp into and it started from there. That was probably the first thing I did was make the piston with the bronze bezel. And the rest of it just kind of followed from there. I just do it for fun. Uh, my friends like to have the stuff I make. I never really took it too serious, but some people are starting to take notice. You know, the chair, it's been, it's been an idea I've had for a while. Again, it, it starts with one part, and that was the fork. And that's the center body. And after, you know, the whole thing was gold anodized. I stripped it down on the lathe, took a couple layers off, and it kind of just went from there. Uh, the disc brakes, those were from an old bike of mine that I just stripped out and sold parts. And honestly, the hardest part was probably the footrest. I wasn't sure how the chain would turn out, but I think it turned out all right. I made everything, upholstered it with the leather. Uh, I recently learned how to sew just so I can do stuff like this. It's all half inch steel tube. There's no actual rod in there, so all the bends are, they have to be done carefully. It's all brazed with silicone bronze. And again, the leather, all the stitching, all that on the tool roll, I did that too. You can go out and buy a plastic one. I think it's like 40 bucks. It's big, it's bright, it's red. Um, but I don't think it really represents what I can do when I show up to a job site. People take notice like, oh, you know, what is that? Where'd you buy it? And when they find out I made it, they want to take a closer look. So I kind of wanted it to represent what I can do. Some people have started commissioning me for certain jobs. So that's been an interesting, uh, I guess, progression. Projects are always different. You always got to think things through. It's just never dull.